this video is for both young and old people. The young people may not want to hear it, but still, you guys are the future of humanity. So I want to talk about death. My father passed away at age 77. My mother, 75. Right. And I'm 76. So there's something to think about my death. I feel healthy, but the few events like I'm going to talk about remind me how important it is to live in a certain way. I call it principal way, which is to connect to the core of who we are from the heart. That's the main topic. But to get there, let me start with a few incidents that I had. Yes, um, 14 years ago, I wrote an essay or a report about my study and research I have done on Zen and spirituality at large. It may be like a 20 pages report, and I wanted to share it. It's in Japanese, but I managed to find a way to have ChatGPT to translate segment by segment. I was checking that, and my eyes got tired. And uh, this started to happen more often than not, and I have this dry eye syndrome and potential for glaucoma. So I am to take the eye drop and prepare, but I feel my eyesight is declining. So that's one part of the nature of getting old. It's irritating to say it straightforward because I want to share something that is like what I did in my life and share with others for whatever it is worth. Summarizing and sharing and continue doing like I have been doing in YouTube has been beneficial for me because I reflect back and learn the lesson and see how I'm practicing or not practicing. So I keep on reinventing myself, so to speak, as we go, because life is reinventing process. Old B is passed away and I have new experience. So you have to keep on navigating life all the time. The scenery changes, your skill changes, your internal you know, physical situation changes. So accordingly, my eyesight declined. And I, so I'm not happy about it because I want to read and write and think and do something in this process. So that's one. And then later, I went to my friend, and I forgot to bring a pair of, of uh, my glove. One of them was left there. I immediately remembered, so I could find it. But these things start to happen. And you have to face it as it is, samadhi, accept it, and move on. And But I kept on thinking that Perhaps I shouldn't be putting too much effort in doing the YouTube and reading and writing and speaking for the sake of me balanced so that I'm not pushing too much. Then the thought popped up. Health would decline, but I want to live with the principle and accordingly health may be taken care. Not the health and longevity comes first, but I have a way of life that I find meaningful, useful, truthful, and be able to sincerely process to live everyday life. And that has to come first. That's one of the top item of my, what I call life profile, which is the video I posted uh, maybe dozen or more years ago, and I keep doing it to monitor my attitude, uh, be sincere and truthful being most important, and then work 
hobby, relationship, health, and financial status. So, obviously, I like to have my life that I live uh, according to this sincerity and truthfulness. And what it means is to connect to the root of who I am. And at the root of who I am is where I see the law of universe is prevailing, or some may call it, that's where God does, God uh, infinite um, wisdom and compassion comes, depending upon how you take a look at it. But beyond who you are, there are, say, I don't call it entity because I see it not someone to relate to. Well, you can do that, but because of my engineering and scientific background, I call it the laws of universe is prevailing, and that's the root of who I am. But you can also say that's Amida Buddha or the Buddha or the God that you pray for. And yet, that's the origin that we came and born on this earth. So what brought me on this earth is going to take me out when I die. And it's fair for me to relate to that across living my life. That's why I often talk about be sincere and truthful and relate to the laws of the universe or the core of our being, or the root of who we are. So long story short, it's always the same story, but it's important to clarify that. So, so far as I see that, then I was thinking perhaps in a reverse order, because when I thought about the life profile, I thought of me breaking down to departments like uh, work and hobby, relationship, health, and finance, and being truthful and sincere. But that's the top-down approach, and it makes sense when you use your mind. So I don't mean to change that, because that idea of life profile I've been doing for the last uh, 24 years, ever since I had the awakening, because I thought I want to monitor how I do. That's my <laughs> engineering and managerial background put in place. But going through this exercise of eyes deteriorating and memory and other situation to happen, and my parents passing away about my age, to live in a right manner is to follow the laws of universe sincerely and truthfully, because that's the origin. And that is the same as listening to heart. In one of the book I mentioned about use the brain, but listen to your heart and live with a mission, not just use the brain without knowing anything. The heart is the essence of who we are, which corresponds to what I was talking about, the laws of the universe and so forth. So, when I do listen, it is the same as the main character of who I am. It's not me in the brain. It's a fake. It's just a um, symptom, neuron processing, this way and that way, linear logic, doing this, doing that, continue to do that. But Synchronicity, awakening comes when connect to your heart, meaning that all the monkey mind get opened up by your mind. Uh, you access to the source of who we are to realize what it is. Know what's going on, be sincere and truthful, and samadhi, calm, quiet mind, no self, no mind. Then you have, have the connection to that. And what it means is that there is wisdom pop up from there, is the driving force, and I know that I've been doing this YouTube thing according to the principle to pick up the moment that I feel that wisdom or compassion pops up and in different occasions. I like to capture it and share it also for me to reinforce what's most important. Not the money, fame all the social constraint and how to navigate, that's fine. 
but it's not the primary, it's secondary, in my view. Well, it becomes very important at certain occasion, but still, we are all depending on the law of universe to live, which brought us on this earth, and appreciate that, and come up with wisdom and compassion. So that's the name of the game. So, bottom line is that that is the main character. Not that having the uh, good health is important. It's a secondary. So, and the relationship and so forth. It may sound quite uh, contradictory, but what drives me is thy will be done. The, the article I wrote and wanted to share and maybe post sometime so that you can see it if you're interested. So thy will be done. So it's not the discussion I had with the free will of individual itself. That is still fake because it's not usually connected to the root. So free will and you play any game you like and you know you may um, confuse others or confuse yourself then you're not aligned to the source of who you are. So the main character being that root, health is just a secondary. If I live rightly according to, or relating to, or following the laws of nature, maybe your term is God or Christ or Amida Buddha, I can relate to that. It's, it's, it, to me, those are just a word. But the substance is something or some entity or some process or laws that we abide by, which is absolute. Then everything else is second. So instead of health being important, it is important, but being able to make a good judgment. So in relation to my brain, memory, or forgetfulness, or anything um, related to, you know, eyes getting tired and all of that, I accept it and move on. Instead of that become the major hurdle, it is one of the hurdles. We have lots of hurdles. We're not just going over one hurdle to the other for the sake of clearing the hurdle, make money, fame, health, you know, da 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 da, traveling this and that. But you you, you want to have the meaning, and the meaning is to me is the connecting to the root. And I mentioned about Saichi, the Mukoni layman who lived until eighty some years old, and he was a carver of the wooden sandal. And I could see him, truthfully, sincerely living like that. So, my eyes, memories. Okay, accept it. I can do something about it if I can, because if I have a tool, I'll do it. But beyond that, I like to maintain the sanity and the principal way of living according to the laws of nature, connecting to the heart and the root of who I am. So it's uh, not the top down from the brain to do this, 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 and orchestrate all, all of it. If the brain is very bright, it may work, but that's not the whole of it. We have the law of universe prevailing for us to live without even our brain to realize that nutrition process, the blood you know, circulate and the conditions change, but sweating and you know, all that stuff happen. And when you cut your finger, it heals. Also, when you have uh, Delusion, like my case of this, uh, forgetting the glove, or I was getting tired and be worried what to do, what to do. I was feeling annoyed because if I cannot do it, then how do I deal with the situation? But that's a secondary thing. I'll find a way. As much as any hurdle that we go through, we'll find a way. So I think that's. I don't know if I can communicate, I could communicate the main message. It's not the, the typical top down, but the bottom up, if you want to call that, bottom to the root of who you are, and let the energy to flow 
in the manner it wants to flow and let that uh, resolve, dissolve the blockages like my worries and um, you know, delusionary thought, knowing what's priority and what's not. And if you live with that right way, if you call that, living according to the way of Buddha, I mean the Buddha, Christ, God, infinite wisdom and compassion to come to you, to us, to live. That's the main or principal way. And if we can clear on that, health may deteriorate, but that's not okay, but it's okay. Because you're doing the best you can, and you're not worried as much. We accept, as we talked about the Shiva Samadhi Panya. You do the right thing, Shiva. Samadhi is no mind, no self calm and quiet mind. In that emptiness, you have a connection to the root. And the panya, shiva samadhi panya, the wisdom, compassion, can come if we are really connected. And that's just fine if you live like that. There may be lots of uh, argument and the stuff on the news internet that may disturb us but we are to have the sort of like a third eye not just a common way of looking at things but beyond that to see through what is the meaning of it for us to live and make a good judgment so that was 17 minutes of long story but that's kind of like an awakening or many awakenings that I went through that top-down view of distributing the objectives to different departments and processes, that's fine. But when you do that, you still have to, I believe, connect it to your heart. So your reason of being here is not just substantiated in your mind and the society, but also with laws of nature or will of the God, so thy will be done. So that's the, when it's done, it's a free will of the universe, and you're free, no matter what happens. But you can still check with your rationality, the mind, because of the relationship that we have with the society. But those are the two dimensions that I have been talking about, the brain and heart. Typically, we just get busy with what to do in the brain. As much as I found myself doing it, and then I realized, okay, I accept it, find a way. Let's do that. Thank you.